Speaking Task 1 You will be asked a question about a familiar topic. You will then have 15 seconds to prepare your response, and 45 seconds to speak. Would you prefer a job that pays well, but involves long hours or a job with regular hours but less pay? Explain your choice with specific reasons. Prepare your response after the beep. Start speaking after the beep. Speaking Task 2 You will read a short paragraph and then listen to a conversation between two people. You will have 50 seconds to read the paragraph. After, you will get a question about what you read and heard. You will have 30 seconds to prepare your response and then 60 seconds to give it. You have 50 seconds to read. Start reading after the beep. Now listen to the conversation between two people. What do you think of the proposal? I think it'll work. I mean, the range of the station now is basically limited to the campus, and so it's basically just a few programs, mainly for students. Yeah? Well, if this proposal goes through, there will be more programs, and it'll give the students more professional experience as they experiment with programming for a much larger, you know, real-life audience. And stuff like that will give them a better shot at getting a job after they graduate. Of course. Besides, the whole university will benefit from it. What do you mean? Well, you know my friend Tony, right? He told me that the radio station at his university did something like this about five years ago. And? Well, it's a success. They are making a lot of money out of commercials, and they are using it to offer more scholarships and to help fund projects to renovate the facilities of other programs. That sounds really good. The woman supports the proposal described in the article. Explain why she thinks it will achieve the university's goals. Prepare your response after the beep. Start speaking after the beep.
Speaking Task 3 You will read a short paragraph about an academic topic then listen to a lecture about it. You will have 50 seconds to read the paragraph. After, you will get a question about what you read and heard. You will have 30 seconds to prepare your response and then 60 seconds to give it. You have 50 seconds to read. Start reading after the beep. Now listen to the lecture. A classic example of this bias can be seen in the realm of political beliefs. Let's consider an individual who identifies as a staunch conservative. This person is more likely to seek information or endorse news reports that aligns with their conservative beliefs. In other words, they unconsciously filter out or downplay information that challenges their bias or presents an opposing view. This person is exhibiting confirmation bias. This bias leads them to reinforce their beliefs or hypotheses, even in the face of contrary data. Another example of this phenomenon can be seen during major sports events, where fans of a specific team often believe that the referees are biased against their team. They're more likely to remember instances where their team was wronged while disregarding or rationalizing other evidence that disputes their assertion. This bias can even interfere with scientific research. A scientist may inadvertently ignore data that conflicts with their expectations in an experiment, thereby bolstering their predetermined hypothesis. These examples underscore the pervasiveness of confirmation bias in everyday decision-making and belief preservation. Discuss the concept of confirmation bias as explained in the lecture using examples mentioned. Prepare your response after the beep. Start speaking after the beep. You will listen to a lecture about an academic topic. After, you will get a question about what you heard. You will have 20 seconds to prepare your response and then 60 seconds to give it. Now listen to the lecture. Brand loyalty is an important concept in marketing because it refers to how committed consumers are to purchasing a specific brand over other options. It is a measure of consumer trust and satisfaction with a brand, and it is one of the most valuable assets a company can have. Several factors influence brand loyalty, and 
I'll go over some of the most important ones today. The first one is quality. Customers are more likely to be loyal to a brand if they believe it consistently provides high-quality goods or services. Of course, quality is a subjective concept, and what one person considers to be high-quality may differ from what another person considers to be high-quality. Companies that invest in product development and deliver products that meet or exceed customer expectations are more likely to earn customer loyalty. Consistency is the second factor that influences brand loyalty. Customers value consistency in all aspects of a brand, from the products or services offered to how customers' service is handled. Building brand loyalty requires customer service. Customers expect a high level of service when interacting with a brand, whether online or in person. Consistent customer service contributes to the establishment of trust and a positive relationship between the brand and its customers. A company that is consistent in its approach to the market is more likely to build trust and familiarity with its customers. This is especially important in industries with a high number of competitors offering similar products or services. What factors influence brand loyalty? Include points and examples from the lecture. Prepare your response after the beep. Start speaking after the beep.